I'm gonna throw out my grenades here. I'm gonna kill you all with my fucking grenades. Oh, I could go down here. Ah. Um. I'm almost dead. Almost dead. Ah. Whew. That was w really close. <laughs> Idiot! <laughs> this character is so much fun. Yes. And I level up as well. All right. So yeah, I'm trying out the mercenary class here now, and uh, he, it's it feels weird when you already used to playing the warrior. So I'm trying to figure out the button ceremony thing here. Feels like I wanna have that one over there instead. Okay, let's uh, continue. Yeah, I'm trying. Yeah, it feels better using the uh, grenade launcher on R2. I already instantly felt that. The warrior could handle these kind of dungeons a lot, lot better. Uh, especially he had this ability where you can pound the ground with a hammer and uh, it slows down the enemies and then the spikes shoots up from the ground like stone spikes. That was really perfect, you could just throw that one out and then you stand there with the shield making sure the enemies just scatters up. But uh, it feels cool to uh, shoot with the crossbow. I already, already enjoy the fact that you use grenades and stuff in this game. It's very different. And it's really, really cool. This is the nest. Okay. What area is? Bigger than I expected. Here it comes! Feel like this is a monster I should do on distance. Not yet. Oh damn it! No mana. Holy shit! Oh, he one shot me with that one. Okay. Okay. So, uh, that might be a problem. Come here! Eat this! Where is he? It's up there. Oh. oh. Okay. And a little bit more difficult now. So we can get rid of those buggers.
Yes. Nice. Plus 5 to enemy attributes. Plus 10 to armor invasion. Increased attack speed. I like that. I'm gonna go with the attack speed for now. I wanna be able to shoot faster. She's singing. <laughs> some yellow stuff there. Nice. I got this one. It grants like 10% to cold resistance. It's a uh, passive. It just gives you that 10% all of see like that. But I'm still now I'm starting to think about uh, the warrior again <laughs> for some reason. I did play as a warrior the first time and I was even thinking about the mercenary how that might be more fun but now i think it's pretty cool being the warrior again it's hard to say anything now it's too early into the game anyway but it's my first initial thoughts as i'm playing this class now i like to be able to ambush them like that with my grenade launcher <laughs> oh, 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 oh. no See, I love this skill tree. I think it's so freaking cool. It's such a beautiful shape to it as well. I need to have more damage. More damage. I'm gonna have a little look here and see if I can buy something new or better. Oh, I bought it by mistake. That's good. It's actually better than the one I have, so that does it doesn't matter. It has, let's see, one to nine lightning damage and in 25% increased bolt speed. And it also adds one to nine lightning damage. Uh, oh yeah, I read that twice. Uh, uh, cool. Here it come. Oh yeah, I can already feel 25% faster. Feels really good. Create a support gem, level one. Oh. Oh yeah. Hmm. Which one? Which one? They're gonna go with Venom. Four skill do not cause stun buildups. Okay. Could be good to have a little bit more crowd control, but I don't want to put it in that one. I think. I'm gonna just see how it goes. Down. It actually feels pretty good knowing that they might be stunned. See? That's pretty cool, that particle effect. Yeah, that was a uh, very nice. Very nice skill support, yeah. Really nice particle effects going on there. Is there a boss here? Yeah. Oh yeah, that's the cool boss.
overgrown weed to take me down. <laughs> Need more than an overgrown weed to take me down. <laughs> I like the comments. I won't end up lying in a field like this. That's my kind of enemies. Slow and steady. Feeling a little bit like Daryl in Walking Dead now. Killing zombies. Right. Level up. Should have expected a trap. Going to go with more damage. I mean, I want more damage. Cool. It's just good. I mean, I ain't planning to be hit. I'm just planning to hit and kill. Like a ninja. Feels really nice when you shoot. If it's a direct, it feels very, very crispy. Flash grenades can blind and stun. No, that's a high velocity run. Definitely that one. Put that one on L1, yeah. Oh, we got some enemies over there. But I'm gonna try out this. Uh... I'll break ya. That uh, that was a really cool uh, shot. I only f I only find racks, like peasant clothing. Mm, that feels nice. So first a little bit of that, a little bit of that. Oh, level up. Got it. More power, more damage. That shot is just like a railgun. So cool. I just wish that it was like a green shot, green animation instead. That would be cooler. <laughs> Such a random thing to do, just yell to monsters. I really enjoy the animations in the game, how the enemies fall down when they get hit. Everything looks really, really nice. Here's a tree, by the way. Una, Una, my little sweet tuna. He's unconscious, but he's breathing. Friendly. Hey, Ferelli. What do you think of my teleport portal? <laughs> Looks so nice. If I go away, it closes. If I go back, it opens up. Ay, 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 ay. Please, hurry. It's gonna be a perfect place to use this uh, weapon. As well as my uh, grenades. Gonna do about that. So we got lots of uh, things to explore here now. Hopefully, we find really nice loot down here. There's something big here. Need a sec. 
Oh, got him. Fungus. He just had to be fungus. <laughs> he doesn't like fungus. Permafrost bolts shatter on impact, hitting enemies behind the target. This attack is very effective at freezing enemies. Damn right, I want this one instead now. Actually gonna put it here, I think. That's really cool. But they made it like that. Oh, I mean. Because that was one of the things in Diablo 4. I always felt I was lacking one more slot. Here we already got six, no, 12 slots. What the f what have Blizzard been doing, man? I'm gonna put the Venom on my eyes shut. I think. Yeah, why not? No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything fine. Okay, I was gonna see how the... Really nice particle effects here with the ice. Three extremely nice particle effects. It's a good thing as well. The uh, the ice here creates like a block in the door or in tight areas overall, so the enemies can't get past. I like that this game is a little bit more tactical. I don't like games when you just r rush in. See, I actually take cover and everything, making sure that I don't get hit. So I like it. I like it a lot. That's This is my type of game. Just like some people already mentioned that even though it uh, has a darker, more grim atmosphere and look to it, it's still colorful. It, the, the color palette is uh, much better than in Diablo 4. Diablo 4 was very pale in comparison. It lacked the impact colors and the contrast and everything. So uh, yeah, I'm really happy about this. Oh. But I haven't explored that part at all. I'm gonna explore everything. That's just the way I am. I can't leave it. I can't leave it. And there's the sea. Saw that yellow chest. I, w I would have missed it otherwise if I went down the stairs. See? I'm gonna level up my grenades. I like my grenades a lot. Evasion ray thing. Oh, 6% increased. Uh, increased attack speed. Thank you. Uh, so that's more or less 6% 6, 6 increased uh, damage. Straight up. Yeah, I can already feel the difference. 6% is 6%. Uh, I can feel the more powerful impact on my grenades here. The particles is so good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, this is uh, something that really speaks to me: explosions. Because I wanted to play the warrior for a while, and uh, I was looking a lot on the videos, and I saw the Titan, one of the uh, subclasses, the Ascension classes. I, I didn't feel like it. It looks so cool. I mean, he hit the grounds, and all it does is like it, it explodes afterwards one more time in the ground. I mean, I would. I, I feel like I would like to have more lava and fire and stuff like that when those explosion happens. So that's why I like the visuals here. You see, there's a lot of fragmentations and uh, scorch and uh, fire and stuff going on. It feels very, very, very pleasant to just lobbing grenades in the group of enemies like that. You just lob it inside this room like a SWAT. Oh, 
Already out of mana. Yes. Yellow chest. Stucky mitts. Oh, that's what I wanted. Stucky mitts. Oh. They're so good looking. Everything's so good looking in this game. Your soul will join my steeple of death. Damn, it's everything looks so freaking good, man. That went, went pretty well. I found some stairs down over there. And I'm going to go and look at those stairs and see where those stairs lead. Forgotten reaches. See? Oh, I should have gone down here before. So this was only a little room. Oh, another crossbow. Uh, six to ten. This is only crap. Aha! You're having a party here without me. Uh, I don't accept that. You all have to die for that. A wooden club. Visually, it's a very appealing, very appealing game to look at. Everything from the environment to the action to the explosion and everything like that. Okay, I can speak to you again. Are we heading down here? I want more damage. Lots of damage. Uh, so people have complained about this game that it's too difficult already in Act 1. People are dying over hundreds of times against bosses. Uh, I can't relate to that at all when it comes to playing with the mercenary at least. Uh, mercenary is badass. And um, it's just one of those characters I hope they don't nerf. Um, because, uh, I mean, it's he's not super, super good, but since you're playing on a distance all the time, you, you, you have an advantage all the time, you know? Yeah, this is a boss. That's the, the woman. something Conquer. 
No! Can I get out of here? Yes. Yellow shields. Well, that's going into my stash for my warrior. Uh, he's uh, difficult. I can't get through him. Huh, I wonder if I can actually uh, start a uh, portal here and go back. I wonder if he's will be if he's still there. Gonna check that out. Ta -da. <laughs> he's still there. Uh yeah that worked. <laughs> Not yet. Perfect. So that's a little weird way to to uh she's come on Ah, there we go. Oh, uh, I only dropped that. Oh well. See if it uh, was worth it. Huh? All of that for only a uncut. Yeah. Aha, uh -huh, what's this? I didn't know about this. There's a lot more stuff here. Ah! You got strength, yeah? This area, yeah? Let me tell you. What the fuck is this? Oh! Oh! I didn't know about that. This is, uh, changes everything. Ooh, now I'm gonna take my time here. Support any skill that hits enemies, making it more likely critical. This one for sure. There we go. So now I have scatter shot. That's perfect. Exactly what I wanted. Woo! Nice. Oh. Oh. There's no reason of playing as a warrior now. This is much more brutal. I feel like a war machine right now. Not yet. Let's go and free my family. Okay. Hopefully you got the gold. <laughs> Alright. We got a boss here, I think. What is this? Huh? Graves. Is it hmm. Torco? Callum. The family of Count Lachlan of Ogham. My family! This doesn't make any sense! They're dead! Those bastard Eternals! I must make them pay! I must make them suffer! Okay. Uh. Yeah. 
You got you now, boy. Just taste my grenade, you motherfucker. I got some poison in my uh, ice shots here as well, so I can use that to my advantage. <laughs> Also, this one uh, brings down his uh, his armor. There we go. Look at this. So fucking good looking. Ah, uh, no yellow item. Oh, too bad. Too bad. But uh. Okay, so let's talk about bosses in this game. Oh, Jesus. Lots of stuff going on here. I'm just gonna pump, pump them full with my grenades here. The grenades are freaking cool, man. So playing as the... Uh, Playing as the mercenary actually is really fun. It's uh, visually very, very pleasing and it feels good with all the effects and explosions and everything. Um, just my first impression is that it's much easier than playing as a warrior, but uh, things can of course change later up in the game. But uh, at least the first act, the uh, this guy is... Uh, He's taking care of business, for sure. Looks like oh, the trial of corruption. Find the entrance to the village. This seems like an entrance to a village. You can't see him there. Oh, seeing things. The crow bell. I'm gonna lure him in here with my grenades. I'm gonna get ya. Okay. He ran away. Oh, there he is. Oh no, man! <laughs> I mean, I mean, I'm stuck inside with him here, but that's good. I'm not stuck in there with you. You're stuck in there with me. Why? Oh, I see. <laughs> so I guess shooting with my eyes there, I'm poisoning him. Then I'm lowering his armor. I do some uh, armor or uh, 
my railgun. There we go. In with some grenades. Poison again. Make sure that the armor is down. Get in with some poison. Grenades. There we go. Down. Oh no, a yellow short bow. Damn. That was close. That was close. I could have been a yellow crossbow instead, but. Hey man, I gotta save that one. To the scoundrels and cowards hiding among the trees of the clanless perch. As the loyal men of Ogham lay down their lives to protect those who support them. I knew, as I said, I mean, the dialect is so fitting. You really, I really enjoy listening to these, uh, these different kind of voices and voice actors. Good voice actors as well, by the way. Well, he was useless. Betty's been practicing his whole life to be a warrior, and I just ended him with a uh, couple of seconds. Oh, they, they, they are blue. Damn it. Uh, I'm in trouble. Can't get past them. Okay, I'm gonna die. No. Ah, oh, no. No, 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 no. It ain't getting me that easy. I mean, with this character, as soon as you're stuck somewhere, you just lob out like nine grenades. Ooh. Moron. <laughs> this guy, he yells. First, I've heard him yelling like, idiot. I thought it was funny, but that's even more funny. He's yelling at moron. <laughs> Go around the circles. La -da 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 -da. The class really. It's a really fun class. I find this class much more fun at the moment now than uh, the warrior. Okay. Holy shit! Uh, I'm gonna throw out my grenades here. I'm gonna kill you all with my fucking grenades. Oh, I could go down here. Ah. Um. I'm almost dead. Almost dead. Ah. That was w really close. Idiot. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> this character is so much fun. Level up as well. Okay, uh, let's go in and look at what. Oh, what do I have? How did I get five skill points? When did I get that? I'm pretty sure I haven't leveled up five times, so so we are. But we are we are going to take this one. The important is just keep moving and if you get stuck like this you just gotta pray pray and spray and shoot those grenades well a much bigger place to run around them so this is a little bit easier here now is there a guy yeah, i need to that spawn all these uh, monsters Uh, idiot! <laughs> uh, I think we got it on the control now. No! No, we don't. 
That was just the beginning. Oh, he marked me. Me too. What's going on? Is he's like uh, evolving or something? Yeah, he did. He evolved. He is like the king of the mist now, and he's uh, much more powerful. That sucks. Come on. Yes. Got him. That was one actually one of the little bit more difficult bosses. But um, I got him. The ground, leaving shards of ice that explode when enemies step on them. Oh, when not hit, my Galvanic shards create arcs of lightning, which are effective at shocking enemies. That one. I want that one. And I want that one. I'm going to get that those two tomorrow. And I'm going to exchange my permafrost bolt. On hit. This one. Now that's also the thing with this game that is so good. You see, I can push the button, R2 button, and all of a sudden I got more slots I can use. So technically I can use up to 12 different skills. I have, um, what do you call it? I have 12 different skills available while I'm playing the game. So. That's just one thing that I missed about Diablo 2, or Diablo 4. There were not enough skill slots. And I would have been happy with just one extra skill slot. It, I always felt like I was missing one extra. But this game just says, hey, we're gonna give you 12 skill slots because we, we want you to have fun while playing the game. We don't want to restrict you or hold you back in any way. That's just so refreshing, you know. Having developers that actually listen to the, uh, the players for once. Increase projectile damage. Yeah, I should go over here to the evasion there, that part. Oh well, I need to take a look at that later. Just 
get a little bit more projectile damage there. See, it's pretty cool that the uh, maps are procedural generated because this is like not the angle that I entered Freythorn. It was more towards, I, I was walking like up. This ladder was like up here facing towards this. And uh, yeah, that's cool. So it never feels like you're heading back to the same old map. You need to find your way and uh, explore the map again. This will stop him. Need more time. Really good to try and get the grenades in to these kind of narrow areas here. Lure them in. Make sure you can kill lots of them. See? So very satisfying using the grenades, that's for sure. I'm feeling right now, I'm so tired now, and my brain is just closing off. Oh, I'm stuck. My mind is going elsewhere. I'm just doing it on uh, automatic with my lizard brain. The time is three o'clock. Uh, I think it's time for me to go to bed soon, but... So yeah, I'm happy with uh, this gameplay. But uh, anyway, you who's been watching, thank you a lot if you're still watching. And uh, I see you tomorrow. I will uh, come back tomorrow and uh, continue live streaming and continue playing on my mercenary. I think he's uh, a lot of fun. So I'm going to play him through Act 2 and 3 as well. So um, yeah, take care everybody and uh, sleep tight and i see you tomorrow. All right.